Hi, this is Mark P. Tsukela, and welcome to 3 Minutes with Mark, Special Budget Edition 2023. What I want to talk about today is small business and what does the budget mean for small business? I, I get this question a lot. Um, now, look, the reality is this. If you're a small business and you're struggling to make ends meet and you're in that startup phase or you're in survival mode, then you won't get a lot of joy from this budget. Let me explain to you why. <clears throat> There's three different things. The first thing is, or well, the first concession that, that's in the budget is um, an increase in the instant asset write-off for eligible fixed assets um, up to $20,000 uh, from 1 July 23 to 30 June 24. That's if you're a small business with an aggregated turnover of under 10 mil. Now look, again, if you're struggling and you just don't have the cash to make these purchases, it's not going to help. Secondly, even if you can make these purchases, the reality is if you're not making profits then or tax profits, um, then it's, it's just going to put you more into losses. So you'll end up with a greater loss position. That's the real issue when it comes to fixed assets and the purchase of fixed assets. Um, there is also the second tax concession is that there's a deduction of an additional 20% for the cost of eligible uh, depreciating assets that support electrification and more efficient use of energy. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, let's be clear. Um, assets that support electrification, they include heat pumps, electric heating, cooling systems. Also, demand management assets, such as batteries and thermal energy storage. That's not going to be for everybody. May not be high on the list, again, if you're struggling to make ends meet. Thirdly, and this is a good thing, um, the GDP factor, the adjustment factor for PAYG, which determines... Um, the, the amounts that you pay back on a PAYG basis during the course of a year to the government, um, the, G, the factor is reduced from 12% to 6%, which means that there is additional cash flow available for the business. So that's not a bad thing. The bottom line, though, is there's not a lot in this budget uh, insofar as small business is concerned. Um, you know, I'm passionate about small business, as many of you know, so I was expecting to see a little bit more. Look, it's always better to have some measures than no measures, but I think maybe a lot more could have been done. Um, it's, look, in a, you know, I guess you've got to balance that up. There's a lot of competing interests when you're putting together a budget like this. Um, so hopefully um, more will happen over the next 12 months. What we really need is real tax reform. We need real tax reform. Look at the tax system on a holistic basis and let's just have a look at the whole box and dice and let's just see what we can do. A lot of professionals are crying out for that. Let's hope that that happens. If you have any questions, please, please, please give me a call and I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you. Speak soon.